Alrighty, Cancers. So this is going to be your reading for August 5th through the 12th. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my YouTube channel. This is going to be about basically the energies you guys are going to experience for this week, okay? So please keep in mind this is general. Everything I say in this message may or may not resonate with you. Only take what does and let the rest fly, guys, so that you don't experience a level of confusion because that can happen. Um, if you do want a personal where it is going to be tailored to you specifically, we do have some specials going on for the month of August. So definitely make sure you check out my site. Everything that you guys need to figure out how to book me or where to reach me on my social medias and whatnot will be in the comment section as well as the description box, okay? So what's going on with Cancers for August 5th through the 12th? Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for August 5th through the 12th. Cancers, okay. Wow. Interesting. Okay, I like this energy. I like how we're starting this reading off. Um, and then let me get two cards for my can. Okay. Cancers, Love Life for August 5th through the 12th. Perfect. All right, Cancers, let's go ahead and talk about these cards. So what I am seeing for a lot of you guys, um, I, I just keep getting this energy of you guys being in seclusion. <laughs> like a lot of you guys have been taking some time for yourself more than anything. Um, like not really surrounding yourself with so many people, like not really engaging that much with other people to really gain insight on possibly some projects you guys may be wanting to embark on. For others of you, this may even be like some business moves you want to embark on and you may be taking the time to gain insight through like ancient knowledge. Um, this could even be taking the initiative to read books. Um, for others of you, you could be just coming into like realizations of just your life experiences. Your life experiences could just be bringing you into a space of like understanding of why certain things work the way they do in this existence, if that makes sense. Um, for a lot of you guys as well, when it comes to... When it comes to change as well, for a lot of you guys, you may not be a stranger to change. And when I say change, this could be like change of environments, like change of home. Um, this could be like change in friendships. Like one second you feel like a friendship is one way, then the next second it's another. But with this, with these experiences that you have gone through, um, I just feel like a lot of you guys have a lot of wisdom that you've collected <laughs> up until this point. And you're using that to your benefit, especially when it comes to uh, business wise and stuff like that. But moving past that, another thing I am seeing as well, um, I am seeing that a lot of you guys are really just trying to get to the finish line, man. Like for some of you guys, you have like a goal in mind and it's like you, you really want to get there. And it's like, you feel like you're so close. You can touch it. You feel like it's there. And for some of you guys, you're so emotionally connected to whatever goal you may have um, set in mind or even a relationship that you may um, want with someone. It's like you, you feel like it's so close, but you may be having to wait. And the universe is telling you to be patient when it comes to getting to the finish line or accomplishing that goal. Um, being patient, but also planning and doing the proper work to actually put things in place for the long term and thinking about okay how can I get there faster you know but definitely having a level of patience and also belief in yourself when it comes to whatever you want you're wanting to go towards okay especially if this is like a dream or aspiration or a job what have you okay um, also this week, you guys may be coming into awareness that your decision making really shapes your future. I always say this to people, the decisions you make right now in this very minute, like down to the very second we're in right now, determines where your future is headed. OK, you can eat a cheeseburger today and 30 years later, you're going to regret eating that cheeseburger. OK, so you got to think about everything that you do. 
And for some of you guys, you may be coming into awareness of that. And with the crown chakra, I really feel like it's going to be lit <laughs> this week. It's definitely going to be lit for you guys when it comes to just, again, you guys gaining a lot of insight and a lot of like understanding more than anything. So this looks like a very interesting week for you guys. It looks very interesting. All right. Now let's go ahead and talk about your love life and then we'll go ahead and, you know, do a full spread as we always do. We have reflection. It says, give each other some space. And we're talking about your love life. Um, it says reflection. It says, give each other space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Then we also have sacred union. Union. It says, honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. So I feel like this week is going to give you, again, the chance to reflect on your relationship and what it means to you. And for some of you guys, you taking a break from your person, if you are on a break from them, will also help you appreciate the relationship even more, especially if you did kind of not see what you had in front of you um, for some time. Or for some of you guys, even your partner, taking a break from them will also possibly give them the chance to realize what they've been missing out on or what you have to offer. So let's go ahead and get into a spread. Cancers for August 5th through the 12th, please. Cancers for August 5th through the 12th. Cancers. for August 5th to the 12th. All right, energy coming into this week. Last week's energy, guidance, the obstacle or challenge that may come up and the outcome of this week. Okay, so let's talk about this. So bottom of the deck for a lot of you guys, um, this week is, this week is gonna be centered around you guys making some decisions um, with some relationships. I really feel like it's talking about your love life. Um, with the judgment card, this may be somebody trying to come back from your past. I know, right? We hate it when people come back from the past. But um, with the judgment card, somebody is trying to come back from the past who you may have walked away from. Um, you may have been emotionally just not really happy with what was taking place within the connection with this person are really just dissatisfied. And with the four of swords, you really took your time for yourself to think about things because you were caught in a rock and a hard place about this commitment that you were in. And with the nine of pentacles, it's like you were taking time to focus on your money, but there's some sort of fire sign that may be trying to come back around and try to manifest some change with you. But I'm seeing a level of either deception that this person may have done in the past and that may be causing issues with you guys experiencing a level of growth or you guys may be in the space of just like wanting to avoid this person because you may feel like this person causes problems and there's just, I don't know, there's issues with you guys getting back together or seeing things eye to eye. But with the Queen of Swords here, I am seeing that for some of you guys, you could even be dealing with an air sign. But with the Queen of Swords, it's like somebody's wanting to speak their mind. All right, regardless of the sign, somebody's wanting to speak their mind here. This looks like an Aquarius for some of you guys. And with the Nine of Wands, this person may be a little defensive because of the fact that you guys may have gone through things in the past. But you guys are definitely going to be either hearing from this person. They may want to heal the connection, but you may have anxiety about doing this due to the fact that there may be problems here. For some of you guys, there also may be two different people here, and that may also be a problem. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing air energy and fire, or for some of you guys, you're dealing with either or. But last week's energy, I do have the 10 of wands. With this, I am seeing that you guys may have had a lot of responsibilities you had to take care of last week. For some of you guys as well, again, somebody who you felt like was a huge burden to you, you had to cut your losses with that um, and just really focus on yourself because you're, you may have wanted this commitment with this person, but it just was a lot. Like I just keep getting this energy where you just realize that it was just too much 
going on in this situation. Also, this this situation that may have been a burden to you. Oh, okay. 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 I'm hearing another storyline too. With this, for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with somebody who has a lot on their plate. Um, this person could be like a business person. They may have a lot of responsibilities and they really just don't have time for this. Um, for some of you guys, there may have been a chance for you guys to get a commitment going with this person um, after you may have like received communication from them or clarity from them. Um, but for some of you guys, there may have been a need for more belief or hope in the connection actually growing or getting better. Okay. But, um, what I am seeing for the guidance for this week, you guys do need to make sure for one that you're balancing out your emotions and really like balancing out your energy as well, like your masculine and your feminine side. Um, I also feel like when it comes to a connection with a fire sign, this looks like an Aries or possibly even a Taurus. Um, I feel like there's a need for you guys to see things for what it is instead of acting like you don't see it or taking this approach of like not being able to fix the circumstance and really deciding on what you want to do with this person. And if it's not a fire sign about somebody who you're very passionate about or somebody who's very passionate about you. And if it's not passionate energy, this person may come off a little angry at times as well with that fire energy or a little feisty, not angry. Fire signs are not angry. <laughs> um, but what I am seeing for the op score issue that may come up this week, we do have the moon card. For some of you guys, this may be you not knowing what the hell to do with this situation um, again, with the higher fit, for some of you guys, you may have morals in mind and this person may not line up with that. Um, there also may be issues with some sort of marriage or commitment that you're in as well, or even possibly somebody who you may have kids with, or even experiencing a level of growth within a connection for some reason. But what I am seeing for the outcome of this week, guys, I do have the tower. Now, with the tower, don't get scared or anything. With the tower, I feel like this is more of a shocking realization or not even shocking realization. This is like a wake-up call for whatever BS in your life needs to go. Like, with the tower, this is just like, oh, shit, I really need to do this now. Like, it's kind of like, okay, you kind of knew that it was an issue but now it's like okay well shit no i really have to fix this and for some of you guys this could be your family situation um for others of you this could even be a marriage with somebody who may be an air sign or somebody who um you may need to clear the air with but with the devil card i'm definitely seeing a toxic situation that you guys are definitely needing to clear up with someone or even for some of you guys if this is even like a a toxic marriage that you're staying in because you don't know what to do. I feel like the universe is really urging you to go in a new direction, especially if you know this is not healthy. Okay. For some of you guys, well, you could be finding out somebody has like some sort of drug addiction in your family as well. That may throw you off um, your kilter. That was so random, but I had to say that. But um, cancers, that's what I'm seeing for you guys for this week. I hope that I was able to give you guys some sort of heads up for what you guys can expect. If this did resonate, please make sure you like this video, comment below, and subscribe. It definitely does help get the video out there to anybody who needs to see it. Also, again, if you do want to book me, you guys know where you guys can find that information. The description box as well as the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.